The biggest spider in the world comes in many colors, but only one size, monster size. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 real life monsters. About as big as a matchbox, and one of the most venomous insects in the world. For this list, we'll be looking at some animals that resemble horrifying monsters of legend, except that they really exist. Do you know some other strange and scary creatures that could be included on this list? Tell us about them in the comments. Number 10. Anglerfish There are many species of anglerfish, but they all have one feature in common, a little fishing pole complete with lure growing out of their heads. The light is a lure wielded by our champion of the weird, the deep sea anglerfish. To put it simply, an anglerfish is a fish that fishes for other fish. This may sound bizarre, but since they live deep in the ocean where there's almost no light, anglerfish can't really look for food. So they've evolved a method for getting food to come to them. Meals are few and far between. So to make the most of every opportunity, this anglerfish has evolved a distending jaw and expandable stomach. While the lure may look different depending on the species, it's usually a small bright fin ray or spine that moves with the current, something likely to attract smaller fish and bring them within range of the anglerfish's huge wading jaws. Given the shape of this angler's body, it's pretty clearly not designed for speed. Instead, these are ambush predators lurking in the darkness to grab an unwary meal. Number 9. Star-Nosed Mole Since the anglerfish inhabits a world completely different from ours, perhaps it isn't too surprising that it looks strange. The star-nosed mole, however, is a small mammal native to North America. What could make this little furry guy monstrous? Well, just the fact that it has tentacles. Its hairless nose is ringed by 22 elegant fleshy tentacles. Sorry, if you thought the star part of its name meant something cute, you might not want to see the real thing. Star-nosed moles are pretty amazing, though. Each feeler is covered with thousands of sensory receptors called Imer's organs that make the star one of the most ultra-sensitive organs of any in the animal kingdom. Those pink feelers are incredibly sensitive to touch, allowing the moles to examine their dark underground tunnels, locate food, and eat it with remarkable speed. In fact, they're widely considered the fastest eaters in the animal kingdom. The time between finding, identifying, and wolfing down their food can be less than a quarter of a second. They can even smell underwater using air bubbles. Number 8. Barrel Eye If you thought the anglerfish was bizarre, hold on to your hat, we're just getting started. The barrel eye is another deep sea fish that is adapted to living in darkness. It looks up toward the surface almost all the time, watching for bits of sinking food. Nothing so unusual about that, except instead of having eyes on the top of its head, the barrel eye looks right through its head, which is transparent. The two green spheres in these video shots are the lenses of its tubular eyes. Its eyes aren't those dark indentations as you might expect. The green glowing balls farther back are its eyes and the rest are other organs. Not much is known about barrel eye, which are sometimes called spookfish, possibly because everyone who sees them gets spooked and immediately swims away in terror. It can also rotate its eyes to avoid predators or to avoid being captured by scientists. Number 7. Northern Giant Hornet Yes, this is the infamous murder hornet, formerly known as the Asian Giant Hornet. You may recall the scare these invasive insects caused when they appeared on the western coast of Canada and the U.S. back in 2019. Since murder hornets were first detected in 2020, the state has destroyed four nests. Fortunately, they seem to be disappearing from those areas, but there was a reason for the scare. Murder hornets are most dangerous to bees. However, as their name suggests, they've also killed humans. I got stung four times across the thighs. Two of those grew blood, like having red hot thumbnails driven into the flesh. It's way more intense. It was like being hit by a two by four and the pain just persisted 16 hours after that. Some are allergic to hornet venom, while others are just overwhelmed. Unlike bees, hornets can sting multiple times and giant hornets are aggressively territorial. The hornets emit a chemical rallying cry and this triggers a unique phenomenon. They attack in swarms if they perceive a threat to the nest. And trust us, you don't want to find out who's a bigger threat. Number six, monkfish. This fish is actually a species of the anglerfish and more often found on the continental shelf as opposed to the deep sea. He's too quick. Wow, that thing's really cool. That's wild. <laughs> Monkfish spend most of their time sitting on the ocean floor waiting for prey to pass by. Their lower jaws jut out so their mouths always face upward, ready to go. They don't just eat other fish, either. These 100-pound couch potatoes have been known to chomp crustaceans, otters, and even seabirds. Their numerous spiny teeth point inward, making escape from that gullet nearly impossible. Monkfish are sometimes called the poor man's lobster. They are apparently similar in taste and much cheaper. 
But does anyone really want to come face to face with that in a restaurant? This fish is often called poor man's lobster because the flesh actually tastes kind of like lobster. And while it's not really visually appetizing, this is one of the best tasting fish out there. Number five, Komodo dragon. The huge fire-breathing dragons of legend may not exist, but the Komodo dragon does a pretty good job of living up to its title. So these are Komodo dragons, the largest lizards on Earth. These lizards, native to a few small islands in Indonesia, are the largest and most dangerous in the world. They can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh over 300 pounds. Komodo dragons are predators, able to smell potential prey from miles away with their long tongues. The Komodo dragon is the ultimate island predator. Once on the scene, they deliver a swift, devastating attack. Attacks on humans are rare, but they have occurred. And even if the person manages to escape, their troubles aren't over. One bite from a Komodo dragon can be fatal, as their jaws are believed to be able to inject a unique, deadly venom. Recently been discovered that Komodo dragons have incredibly potent venom. But unlike other reptiles, their methods of administering it are more brutal. Number four, Japanese spider crab. If you don't like spiders, you probably won't like this crab. Japanese spider crabs have relatively small bodies with long legs, which is where they get their name. Oh, and also, their legs span about 12 feet. These are the biggest crabs anyone's ever seen. They are relatively harmless towards humans, though, and spend most of their time scuttling in very large steps over the seafloor, looking for scraps to eat. They're actually fairly small for their species. These guys can get up to over 10 feet across, almost the size of a small car. Japanese spider crabs themselves are considered fine dining to some people, but not many are willing to brave the depths and do battle with these huge crustaceans, no matter how tasty they are. Oh, wow. This is a really, really sweet crab. Much sweeter than any other crab I've had before. Can't say we blame them. Number three, Promacatutus sulcus. That's a big name for a little squid. This species hasn't been given a common name yet because only one of them has ever been caught and studied, and that was in 2007. There's still a lot we don't know about it. For instance, why does it have teeth? Most squid and octopuses have beaks like birds. That's where that snapping beak is. Just there. I'm gonna take great care. Hidden beneath their tentacles, as far as we know, this is the only squid in existence that appears to be wearing dentures. According to scientists, the teeth are actually small folded lips and the beak is behind them, which really just brings up more questions. Anyway, since it's so rare, lives thousands of feet under the sea and is only an inch long, you're unlikely to be troubled by this toothy squid, except maybe in nightmares. Number 2. Albino Cyclops Shark You may have heard the term Cyclops before. It refers to one-eyed monsters which appear in Asian and Greek mythology. <laughs> When pictures of a ghostly white shark with one big black eye in the middle of its head first appeared in 2011, most people dismissed it as a hoax, but unfortunately, this particular monster is real. However, evolution can deliver startling mutations. None more so than this fetal dusky shark, discovered in Mexico in 2011. The albino cyclops shark is not an actual species of shark. It's a rare, harmful mutation that affects shark fetuses, sometimes newborn pups, which usually don't live long enough to be born. It's unlikely that shark would have lived had it gotten out of the womb, but it's a fascinating example of how this phenomena happens in animals from time to time. So the few specimens that have been studied were discovered by fishermen, who were probably a little alarmed when they cut into an ordinary female shark and found a mutant cyclops baby staring back at them. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Goliath bird eater. Speaking of mythology, the word Goliath is often used as a synonym for giant. The Goliath bird eater lives up to that part of its name. However, it lives on the ground and rarely eats birds. The Goliath bird eating spider is nearly one foot wide. Despite its name, it rarely eats birds. It mainly preys on frogs, insects, and rodents. It's just your average enormous hairy spider. These tarantulas are among the biggest in the world with legs spanning nearly a foot. They live in South America and spend most of their time hiding in burrows or beneath rocks, waiting for small animals to pass by. Super sensitive hairs cover the Goliath's eight legs. They pick up vibrations in the air created by movement from creatures around it. If one does, the Goliath bird eater springs out and attacks it with inch-long venomous fangs. Despite their fearsome appearance, bird eaters aren't dangerous to people, or at least their venom isn't. This spider's venom wouldn't kill me, 
but you really don't want to get bitten by those gigantic fangs. You can decide whether the sight of an enormous tarantula might be hazardous in other ways. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.